Lauren Mascara from Plano Senior High School. Hello. Hello. So most of us know stoneware is just dishware. Um, uh, and it's a particular kind of clay, ceramic, and it's particularly hard. It's really, really tough. Why stoneware? What would bring you to that? Um, I've always been drawn to clay, especially in pastors and art. And my, during my first AP class, I really wanted to explore with manipulating it and using different principles and elements of design. So, and I came across this, this design and had to use clay for it. You said you came across the design. What? Well, um, I started sketching out random designs, and one was really drawn to me. And the story that came with it, uh, I, I don't know, it was hard to explain. You saw, but I'm saying you saw this image. Yeah. Uh, it's, I, it came from whenever I, with the whole idea behind it, I was starting thinking about this space, I'm really into a lot of sci-fi. I'm like, okay, when I was younger, I had a really awesome imagination, and space is something I always wanted to play with, and that's why I kind of want to perform this. The, this is another thing that uh, seeing it online didn't do it justice, because when you see it out there, it's actually quite delicate and rather pretty. And I, I have been thinking this thing is sort of big, um, and, it, and it is, it's, it's actually fairly small and, and, and delicate. Um, Again, though, with, with, with space and all that, I wasn't expecting pastel colors. Yeah, I wasn't either, actually. <laughs> um, the glazes, it was supposed to be a deep blue. Uh, ah. They're supposed to be very deep, rich colors. So when it came out of the kiln, I was like, oh, oh, oh no, my piece. <laughs> I was just a little freaked out. But then I realized it actually tied into my story very well because it's supposed to capture a, um, a child's imagination. So I'm like, okay, pastel, children, they kind of tie together. So it ended up working out in the end. but. At first, it so it says painted stoneware, though. So mm -hmm. it's this is not something that that you put on first and then fired and painted it afterwards, or how did that work? Once it was fired, once I put um, a glaze on it, and we refired it. I see. So that's when you realized that, oops, it didn't. Yeah, turn out the, the way. When, first in the jar, it looked kind of pastel like. I'm like, okay, once it's fired, it probably will change color, get a little deeper, like the name said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was the name saying is dark deep blue. It or did. Something? Yes, the name was deep blue. <laughs> do, you know, <laughs> do you know why it didn't turn out the way it was supposed I, to? I don't know. My don't teacher know. doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the uh, as I said earlier about sculpture, seeing something in in three dimensions, um, walking uh, uh, around it. Is there any particular view of this that that you prefer? Oh, I actually prefer, this is one of my favorite views of it. Um, there's another view of it. Um, on the side, we rotate it a little bit, like 90 degrees, or you can see the two um, glyphs of it, which I really love that perspective. And the, the other thing that, that was interesting to me was that it's kind of salmon or peach color, mm -hmm. uh, which doesn't suggest space to me. I don't think of salmon. Uh, yeah, because originally it's supposed to be the inner star, which is supposed to be, um, kind of remind me of the core of the Earth. It was, you know, so it's Lava like kind of club magma, color, uh, yes. That kind of thing. Oh, I see. And the outside's like what you see when you walk outside, that dark, deep color. Well, it's a very pretty work, um, even if it isn't everything that you had planned on. Yes. Well, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you very much.